Welcome to another reading and correcting of Crimson by me, Kintar of the Tiger Rights, and I, the Tiger Superlight. Today we are doing Chapter 17. Alex tried to grow, tried not to grow, he's shifted on his How many days was this now? A week? More? If this was how he felt from exercising every other day, he went to Anna, and shooting training on the off days, he wouldn't survive. Shouldn't I stop hurting by now? He asked Will, and lay on his own bed, ice fixed on his tablet. All this training was supposed to help me. Even broken in pieces. The younger man smirked, but didn't look away from what he was doing. Alex finally managed to find a, a sitting position that didn't press on every sore spot, pulled out his data pad. He managed to make it through the, the sentry program, which had been put around his vault the day before, and to ensure he wouldn't have to go back to bat again, he transferred everything in it to his data pad. He hadn't realized just how much stuff he dumped in it over the years. And now he had to search through it for the manuals and see what he could learn from. Someone knocked on the door. Come on in, Will yelled, his fix on his tablet. The door opened and the captain stepped in. Stepped it? Stepped in. Alec put his data put down while Will looked up, mumbled the greeting, and went back to his tablet. The captain looked to the looked them over and then at Alex. Asir tells me you've been fixing the computer. He looked up to the shelf and Alex cursed himself off Jack's hologram running. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm just working on the central processor right now. It shouldn't have affected any of the other system. The captain nodded. Instead you're forcing it to get better? Alex nod Alex's nod was tinted able to judge if the captain thought that was a good thing or not. I am not a computer medic, and the texts I found on it haven't helped. The ship's computer is so far gone, it would probably take an entire team of medics to be able to get any result in a reasonable time frame. So you're good at getting computers to do what you want? Yes, that used to be my job. The captain looked thoughtful, thoughtful for a moment. I have a job for you? We're going to board a ship, and the job's going to be a lot easier if I don't have to worry about its defenses stopping my crew. Alex stared at him. You want me to help you rob a ship? Yes. I can do that. How could that man even consider asking him that? He wasn't a criminal. You agreed to work your passage off. I am. I'm cleaning the corridors, and now I'm helping. I'm healing the computer. You're fixing damages you caused. Alex looked away. Not going to stop there. And if I finish and if I finish that before we reach Amaya, I'll go back to cleaning. The captain watched him in silence for a moment. So you're not going to do this job. I'm sorry, sir, but no. There's one thing to purge a ship's computer without corporate authorization. There's another and one entirely to do it to some random innocent ship. The captain continued looking at Alex long enough. He began to squirm, then he turned and locked. Alex stared at the closed door for a moment, then looked at Will. What did he expect me to say? The young man shrugged. I don't know. Don't read minds. Does he really expect me to break the law for him? This ship? That'd be useful. Why keep you otherwise? I am being useful. I'll put down this tablet. Doesn't matter what you do. The captain's got to feel it. If you don't feel you're, you're useful, you don't keep your record. Alex thought it over. So it's a threat? It's a threat? If I don't do what he says, he's going to space me? Nah. Well said before Alex could panic. You don't space nobody. Need good reason for that. You'll leave next dock to stop at. But he can't ask me to do something illegal. Why not? Who's going to care here? But I'm not... I'm. But I'm not a... He almost said he wasn't a criminal, but that wasn't true, was it? He'd stolen the corporate property, and while Emeril had let him go, technically he'd, he'd also broken his contract. Will picked up his tablet. Click on it, the good or good, the bad. Alex considered that. I need to get to Somalia, finally said. For your man. 
got on their ship go to the coding there. It's at the edge of the civil of civilized space. Who else is going to go there? Barely they barely have anything to trade. They probably have to end up on the central system to find a ship, and that'd be decades of delays. Why the rush? Alex opened his mouth to tell Will how Tristan had to hurt Jack during that time. But the words wouldn't leave. He wanted Jack to be his prisoner. But he knew that was it. Jack was an act. Tristan uh, that Jack was an act Tristan played. So why did he have to hurry there? His nightmare told him why. There had been less and less of Jack in them. No matter how hard Tristan pleaded with the alien, Tristan. No matter how hard Alex pleaded with the alien, Tristan was the one in his dream now. And Alex was terrified that Tristan would forget everything about who Jack had been. And he realized there was more. If Tristan was captured again, would he ever be able to get to him? It wasn't like he could just walk into a prison and request to see him, let alone leave with him. All he wanted was to get Jack back. Are you telling me I shouldn't do it? Well, shrug. Isn't it your job to make sure I go along with, the ca with your captain? Will shook his head. Show you how things go. That's my job. What I did. Never, never said I got a push. He leaned back against the wall. You're a good one, Crimson. You hang around. It's going to go. Won't be an ass like the fingers, but the good will be gone. Tristan had used him. Made him fall in love with Jack. He hadn't been the first one used that. The alien's file had been filled with the names of people he'd used to get what he wanted. Compared to them, Alex had gotten off light. If he forced a confrontation, would he be that lucky again? Or would he become one more name added to Tristan's file? Was it worth the risk? Alex remembered the love in Jack's eyes, his tender touch, his warm embrace, and he was filled with certainty that he could get that again. Sleep on it, Will said. Find things better then. We'll know after. Alex shook his head and stood, groaning as, his, <clears throat> as most of his muscles pulled. He indicated the door and love opened, then followed Alex outside. Alex didn't ask where he'd find a captain. He would find him on his own. Started with the bridge as the likeliest place and got lucky. The captain was the only one to look at, away from the board where one of his officers, showing him something, annoyance on his face. Why do you bring him here, Will? I'll do it, Alex said before his friend could answer. The captain raised an eyebrow. I thought you didn't want to help me rob a ship. You were right. I need to pay for my passage, and if that's the price, then that's the price. Captain looked at Will. Call me. Call him. The man smiled. Well, boy, with your help, I might not have to sacrifice anyone this time. First, I need to have a talk with you. Alex looked around. In private. The captain studied him for a moment, then motioned for Alex to follow. They entered a side office, a side room, an office with an old-style desk, minimalist, with a transparent top held by thin metal legs. The walls had shelves with various objects on them, mementos, Alex guessed, and one picture, a younger version of the captain with an older man and woman on each side of him. The three of them had tattered clothing, but the smiles looked genuine. I need to know you aren't screwing with me. If I'm going to do this, you have to assure me Somalia is your destination and that you aren't going to take decades to get there. The man seated himself behind the desk. He didn't offer one of the other two chairs to Alex, and Alex didn't sit down. At the surface of the desk, and the star map appeared in the air between them. A jagged line crossed it with half a dozen points where it changed direction. This is the itinerary. itinerary. I expect us to, re to be at Somalia in one subjective year, give or take problems we might run into. Objective, probably four to five times that. Too many factors to affect that to know for sure. Alex looked at the map. It wasn't a straight line. Stepped around it to get a sense of it in three dimensions, but it could still be a lie. Alex didn't know space and only had the captain's word for that <clears throat> that last shot. Not only had the captain's word that last shot was Somalia. Your trip ends at Somalia? No, but I don't like planning more than six stops ahead. By the time we get there, I'll have decided where we go next. Alex nodded. Okay. I'm going to do the best I can to help you with this, but I can't guarantee the result. I thought you were good. Are you trying to set me up so you won't have to work hard and I won't be able to complain when my crew start dying? Of course not. 
I am good. Good enough a corporation found me while I was still in school and gave me a job. But that doesn't mean I can get just any computer to open up to me. I don't even have, know what that computer is going to be like. Alexander, look, back when I worked for a corporation, there was an entire department whose only job was to compile information on the system. I had to rehearse who had built it. It's called programming, which company had done which company had done that, and even with coercion is, which coercion is that company might have overseen it. All of that helped me with the work, and I don't have any of that here. Can you get that information? The captain asked. Is there, there's time before we, we get in range? Alex shook, shook his head. I doubt it. Corporations are constantly querying, queried by various groups. It's easy to slip a request among those. I doubt ships work like that. If I started asking questions about that one, someone will notice. I'm guessing that whatever they are carrying is valuable, so someone is going to wonder why I'm curious about it. The man nodded, tapping his fingers on the desk absent. All right, what do you need that I can provide to increase your chances of success? Alex thought about it. If he couldn't get any information, there was really only one thing he needed. I need time. I'm going to need the ship system to help me with this, so I need to heal the core processing. I'm going to need help with that. Thought of, of a second thing. And I'm going to need to be on the bridge. Nanoseconds can make the difference here. The processing core is built into the bridge, so the closer my input is to it, the better the results are going to be. Is there any station I can use for that? Hopefully something I can reconfigure for the work I'll need to do. I can't control how much time you'll have. The ship is scheduled to be here between, between 10 to 15 days. As for the bridge, that isn't a problem. As here as a board, she can use, she can do her computer work, but she's hardly ever there, so you can use that. 10 days. 10 days at the very least. 10 days to at the very least undo the damage you've done. Then hopefully give the ship access to more computing power. You'd have to work days in, days out to accomplish that. Duck was going to have to deal with the fact he couldn't exercise or train during that time. There's one last thing. I need Anders off my back. The captain raised an eyebrow. Have you been getting in his way? No, I haven't done no damn thing. I stopped this up and shook his head. He was picking up Wills' pattern. The captain chuckled. I didn't do anything to him, but he's gotten it in his head that I'm trying to take him to make him look bad or something. Some of his people have threatened me, and Doc had to arrange for me to get bodyguards. I'm going to be coming and going at all hours to get the computer where I need it. I can't ask them to deal with that. The captain nodded. I'll call for you for a briefing later today. Be there. Alex hesitated, then nodded. Unless there's something else you need me to discuss with the, unless there's something else you need to discuss with me, Mr. Crimson, you can go. Oh, right. Alex left. Will stopped talking with Perry and fell in step with Alex. Still fell in step as Alex exited the bridge. Not good. What? You not good. What do you mean? Doing this, making mistake. Well said in exasperation. Will, I really wish you actually spoke full sentence at time. Will pulled Alex against the wall as four people ran by, close in hand, speaking in a communicator about a transmission conduit being down. He didn't start moving when they were, the way was clear. Alex watched him collect his thought. When Will spoke, his pace was measured. I told you, this is going to change you. You should stay separate from this life. You won't. I'm going to be fine. Just helping out. It isn't like I'm going to be on the other ship doing this actual stealing. Other than not having corporate protection, this isn't going to be all that different from what I did at Luminex. Well, side, not simple. No, it probably won't be simple, but that's okay. I don't mind a good challenge. Will shook his head, but instead of speaking, he began walking again. Look, Will, I appreciate what that you're looking out for me. Like said as he stayed with him, but this is just to help out. And next time? What do you mean, next time? When Captain asks again. That gave Alex Paul. I don't know. I guess it's going to depend on what he needs me to do that time. The ritual left, only to find one of the women who'd ran by half in the empty shaft. She saw them and shook her head. You're going to have to take one of the ladders. The thing's down, and I don't know when it's going to be functioning again. Will growled. Oh, 
almost breaks. He began walking again. It's okay, I don't mind taking the ladder. You start minding or you're gonna loot or or you're gonna do worse. Will put his hand on the pot in his pocket and notch his shoulder hunched his shoulder down. Alex wanted to ask what he meant by that, but someone whooped from an open doorway and he peered in. A group of three men and three women were playing some sort of card game. Some sort of game at a table. Alex couldn't tell why, but it involved gold, gems, and other valuable things being piled in the center. He watched for a moment, trying to discern the game, but when one of the women looked at him and grinned, he decided to turn away. Who had, who had kept walking? A younger man ignored him for the rest of the way to their room, where he occupied himself, reading his tablet. Alex entered the room he'd been called to and stopped in the doorway. Will whistled at the assembly, but stayed on the other side of the door. Pushed Alex in, and the door closed. Alex couldn't move. The captain was at the op opposing end of the table where Alex stood, and 16 dangerous-looking men and women were seated around it. Anders was seated at the captain's right, and Jennifer takes his hand. What's he doing here? Alan Anders asked, not hiding his hand. The captain indicated a chair next to Jennifer. And Alex said, Mr. Crimson is going to be key, the key that unlocks the ship's riches, as well as muzzle its defenses. As such, it is imperative he knows what we will be doing. Got control of the table and read some. Also, continued without looking up, until further notice, Mr. Crimson is under my protection. What? Anders asked in disbelief. He is vital to this operation. Therefore, I can't afford for some vendetta to get in the way of what he needs to do. Am I making myself clear? Everyone nodded, even Anders. Even Anders, but he glared at the table of Alex. This concludes Chapter 17 of Crimson. If you are enjoying this, please leave a like. If you want to know when the next one is going to be, subscribe and hit the bell. If you want to read the rest of the book, or the other books in the series, or other books I've written, uh, they're all available on major on the major re ah, on the major e retail store. Link is in the notes, as is the link to my Patreon, where you can support me and read other stories that I've been published. And if you want to watch me write, read these and write write my stories live. I do that on Twitch. The reading is every Tuesday morning. And with that, I shall wish you a good day.